Today on Elmo the Elk, why we hurt and who's to blame. Welcome to the show! Our first guest is hurting inside. Let's find out why! Yeah, well, when I was little, one day my mom packed my uh, lunch for s school and she forgot the pudding. Aww. So, subsequently, I've been in therapy and I can't work. And so I'm living off the settlements from when, you know, I sued the school and uh, the maker of the pudding that wasn't there. And my mom, of course. Hmm, you poor sweet man. Your inner child must be very bruised. And you? Well, I spilled some ice from my soda at a fast food restaurant on my lap, and it was very cold. So subsequently, I can no longer work and sue the fast food restaurant. And now, ice and soda has, of course, been outlawed at all restaurants to keep customers safe, thanks to me. Hmm, you ma'am are a pioneer in fast food safety. Bless you. And you, sir? I, uh, I was in a supermarket, and I tore my pants, and they fell down and got caught around my ankles. And I tripped and fell, and, and my bulbous bottom was sticking in the air. And, well, this monkey came out of nowhere, and, and he pulled my hair. <laughs> now, with a different perspective on these tragic stories, let me introduce someone who claims to offer a solution to these hurting people. Dr. Sharky the Shark Dog! The name's Bob. Bob White. I, I, I can't remember what it is I was supposed to be doing. Gee, Bob White, you're a bird. You're probably supposed to sing. Yeah, that's good. That sounds right. Uh, my tune, my, my unique Bob White sound. I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Bob White. What would a bird named Bob White sing? Bob White. Bob White. I'm sorry, Bob White. I'm coming up empty. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm a bird. I'm supposed to sing. It's what I do now. What do I do? Bark? Sit on a tree limb and oink. I can hear it now. Gee, honey, it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining, the Bob White birds are mooing. My light's over. Kumbaya, this is all our fault. Don't worry, Bob White. We'll help you find your song. Kumbaya, it'll be good to help Bob White get his song back, and the birthplace of jazz is a great place to start. La 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 <laughs> Kumbaya, New Orleans, birthplace of jazz. Oh, zippity rama lama ding dong, this place is hopping. Kumbaya, I always thought New Orleans would be a little more, well, festive. <laughs> I do 
do find this place festive, and the mask's jolly and all, I, I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to sing. Well, come on, let's go listen to some music and see if anything sparks your memory, Bob White. No, sorry, forget it. It ain't gonna happen, man. Don't give up, Bob White. We'll figure out your special tune. Things will work out. They always do. Remember, Bob White, the darkest hour is just before... <laughs> Crossroads. Apparently here we'll discover something called the blues. Well, I lost my car keys. My milk gun spoiled. To feed my dough, I struggled and toiled. But my Lucy ran off with some other buck. Oh, please run over my head with a big old Mack truck. Pardon us, Mr. Legally Blind Elmo, sir. Our friend Bob White here lost his unique sound. Could Bob's tune be based in the music style known as the blues? Well, let's see. Do you have a job? Well, yeah, uh, apparently. I I'm told I sing in a tree. Well, this is bad. Have you been down so long it looks like up to you? Wallowed in the hole for a crime you didn't commit? Headed to Mexico for one you did? Cried so long over the loss of your woman you could wash your hair with the very tears from your eyes? Um, actually, I prefer a gentle shampoo and a light conditioner. Sorry, my guess is Bob here wasn't warbling a blues song. Oh. <sighs> Say, can I ask you another question? Go ahead. How come you sit on this side of the crossroads, where it's dark and not that side of the crossroads, under the light? Hmm, well, why would I want to do that? Well, look. See, if you stand in the light, your outlook might brighten, and you'll no longer sing the blue. <laughs> traveling companions during the train incident. We were supposed to meet here at the airport. I guess I'll have to page him. Paging Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. Paging Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. Gee, Bob White. That's all I say. That's my job as a quail. I sit there in that tree and I sing out Bob White. Oh, this is great. Thank you, Sharky. I gotta get back to my tree. I'm supposed to be having dinner with Nina. Bob White. Bob White. Sing it out, Bob White. Everybody, Chaka Khan. Bob White. Bob White. Bob White. There you are, Sharky. Where's Bob White? <coughs> Kumbaya, you say he found his song? That's great news. Well, come on, Sharky. We'll miss our flight. <coughs> Kumbaya, Sharky. We're on the wrong plane. This one's headed to Rome, Italy, not Metropolis. <coughs> I know. When we get to Italy, we'll get jobs so we can buy plane tickets to come home. <coughs> Well, I'm not sure what kind of jobs we can get, Sharky. I guess we'll see when we get there. The Emperor has insulted myself and the brave name of my family members, of which there are more than four. Yes, for this he must pay, you will see. Let me join you on your quest, Sharkulis. Together, we will fight the evil ones who think too quickly, huh? That we will not fight that which we stand for, and is legally ours, and it is written in the sacred scribes. Yes, Typhoidus. Mm, yes, Charcules. This is good. No. Charcules behind you there. Cursed grunt, demon of the sea, you will not win this battle and take that mm, grunt, which has been deemed by our fathers to be that which is our brother's lot. Yes, grunt. I'm sure you can see with your eyes that which is the truth that I speak to you. This is our last day, you octopus. Oh, oh man, oh, man. Oh, this is the worst. He's out. Hit the track off. Hit the Boy, it's sure great how everything works out. And now everything's back to normal and the world can hear Bob White singing out his beautiful tune all day long. Bob White? 
Bob White. 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 Eek. Those pesky little humans will be all wet when we catch up to them on these guys. The whole wide ocean and nothing in our way! Woohoo! I'm slowly getting a sinking feeling, Doc! I can't believe I let you talk me into this, sitting in this stupid floating thing on this wet stuff. We're exploring, Bill. I'm convinced that this big wet thing we're on will end somewhere. Oh, dream on. This wet stuff isn't gonna just stop. It's just wet and full of... Ow! Ow! Get him! Ow! Get him! Get him off! 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 Get him! Why? I don't know if I can make it! I'm sinking! <laughs> Easy, Squat! You can make it! We got you! Keep swimming, Squat. You are just getting fatigued and waterlogged. We won't let you sink. Well, gee, guys, I'm getting too heavy. Maybe I should take some stuff out of my pockets. Stop! What stuff, Squat? Oh, like my trilobite lead paperweight collection. And I guess I could part with my bowling stuff. And although I hate to see it go, I guess I'd better say goodbye to my lucky cement block. Okay, guys, that's better. Look, I can float. Pull me. Oh, yes, we will pull you. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Oh, come on, man. You can't do this, man. I always said Squat had an inflated view of himself, Doc. He is definitely full of hot air. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, Doc, maybe we overdid it with Squat. He's really blowing up. Hmm, this is not Squat, it's... Thunderstars! Yeah! Yeah! Uh... Someone's coming, quick! Wonderful, Biff. Our evil sub's maiden voyage has been a complete success. Yes, your stinkiness. Our sinister sub will take us right into the heart of Jurassic Harbor. <laughs> you hear that, guys? The Bone Daddies are gonna steer this seagoing sausage to Jurassic City! And use it to blast the President's boat. We must stop them. Hate to dunk and run, man! But you thuggasaurs are all wet! Hey, those were thunder lizards. Are you sure? Well, no. Need fresh water and food. Been out here for this many minutes. Mouth is dry as old sweater. Water, food. I can't do anything about the lack of fresh water, but I brought some food. I call these salted peanuts. Oh, and a few of these jalapeno chili peppers. And a couple of these bark crackers. Oh, you have food! Give me that! Uh, we should probably ration... Um... Shut up, Scooter! Can't you see it? I'm eating! Water. Must have fresh water. Hey, buddy, good news. Look up there. What a beautiful sight! Land birds! Where you see land birds, there's gotta be land nearby! They are not land birds, you doofus! They're... they're pterodactyls! <laughs> hey, neat! You can see our boat from here. Before you eat me, can you fly closer to Scooter so I can kick him? Just one good kick! Let me kick him once before you eat me, please! That's all I ask! We are approaching Jurassic City. It's almost time to arm the mine. This way. Get off me, please! Just get off! We must find the weapons room. We'll arm the mine to blow up before the sub reaches Jurassic City. Great plan, Doc! The mine will blow up on this very sub, which will permanently fix these evil thuggasaurs. Got any trees? Go fish. Hey, you 
you hear something? No, go see it. We have ten minutes to get off the sub and swim to safety before the mine blows. Stay close behind me and- Hmm, I thought I heard a mine activation warning siren. Oh well, I guess it was nothing. The rest of you sailors come with me. My skull needs exfoliating. Can you say you like really for dealing with soap scum? We are running out of time. We must move. We're just about to arrive at Jurassic City. Wonderful, Biff. To the control room. Hold up, Doc. Someone's coming. Quickly, in here. Hmm. Now what fob left these torpedo bay doors open? Are you happy now, Scooter? Because of you, we're about to be eaten by giant birds! Oh, come on, Bill! Look at the bright side! At least we're getting somewhere, and we're not stuck on that boat, and just because our pterodactyl friends here picked us up doesn't necessarily mean they intend to eat us, Why? there's no proof of that at all! Biff, raise the periscope. Hmm, now let's see what we can see. Why won't something good ever happen? Good Cretaceous! There's some kind of sea monster trying to devour our submarine, Biff! Quickly, load torpedo tubes 1, 2, and 3! I guess it's safe to say being sealed in these torpedo tubes is a bad thing, isn't it, Cutter? <sighs> yes, squad! Being sealed in the torpedo tube of a sub that's about to blow up, sink, implode from the pressure, and crush our fat little heads in the process would fit nicely in the bad things category! Well, guys, at least things can't get any worse. I was wrong. Gee, Bill, what do you make of this crazy thing? This thing sticking out of the water. I don't care what it is, Scooter. All I want to know is, does it have fresh water inside it? <laughs> We're doomed. Look at the teeth on that hideous sea creature. Biff, fire torpedoes. Firing torpedoes, a great two jam biter. <laughs> Torpedoes away your gruesomeness! That sea monster will be blown to bits in moments. Ah, good. This creature eating our sub is horrible and must be destroyed. Hmm, now there's a thought, Biff. If we blast this creature that's eating our sub, aren't we in fact torpedoing our own ship? Abandoned ship! <laughs> can't do anything right, <laughs> Yes, and now they've abandoned ship and we're left here completely safe and dry. Mother Earth. Uh, Bill, you really shouldn't do that. Leave me alone, Scooter. Can't you see I'm happy? Can't you see my troubles are over? Can't you see? You're kissing the Jurassic Highway, Bill. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing like a nice hot bath to take my mind off those stupid thunder lizards. Hi, Ducky. What the... Scaly Lips! Yes, dear? Have you seen my toy sub? I'll bring it right in, dear! <laughs> the, um, terrible thunder lizards reporting for duty, sir. Nice, sir. Uh, ducky, sir. We dinosaurs are doomed. I just know it.